Hello all, welcome back. Uh, this has been long. I used to create a video. So this time we will create a short video which will explain us about uh, now uh, one of our uh, subscriber asked for a question how to uh, create a multiple or uh, how to you know execute multiple inner joins uh, with a um, OLEDB query uh, as uh, she is trying to struggle uh, for executing this. Uh, I decided to you know create uh, one small example which will help us to understand how uh, usually uh, early db queries creates a lot of troubles so let's uh, debug it so for that i have uh, a spreadsheet with uh, basically three sheets kind of uh, you know three are related you can assume sheet one contains department information the one two three four departments their department name and location sheet two contains a total five columns with employee id name department re reference and uh, pay grade id so the third sheet contains pay grade information uh, based on the id it is going to decide which grade your uh, salary falls under i mean individual employees uh, pay grade so the reference is like uh, if you want uh, i mean uh, uh, employee can be part of a particular department and uh, should be falls under one single pay grade so that is the relation uh, here if you think sheet 2 is child sheet 1 and sheet 3 both are parents like master tables if you think about SQL uh, relation relation wise now how are we going to execute uh, multiple you know inner joints like I wanted to see the employees uh, uh, with their uh, department name as well as pay grade so for that what we can do we can write two inner joins along with uh, uh, I mean uh, integrated with the sheet 2 sheet 2 is going to be our main table and uh, we will we need to join sheet 1 for department name and department location and sheet 3 for pay grade information so here we need to write two inner joins for that, usually what I used to follow uh, is, uh, you know, I found something interest, uh, interesting on the internet that is called Query Express. So, which will help you to, uh, you know, formulate your basic uh, uh, SQL queries with the help of OLEDB. So, for that, uh, usually we are going to use Microsoft Ace OLEDB 12.0 data source is going to be the spreadsheet that we have used uh, just now. So it was placed in D drive, uh, RND sample files and sample data dot XLSX. So you can see the data source and uh, you know uh, other things you already know. So this is the connection string and uh, just click on connect. So it will connect to the sheet and it will show us what all are the available. Uh, I mean sheets, uh, I mean all available sheets. I have just wanted to execute the first sheet. Yeah, sheet one, ten, sheet one contains this information, sheet two, this information, and uh, sheet three, yeah, pay grade information. Now I wanted to select employees. I wanted to give an alias as E. Why I am trying to show everything here in SQL Express, you know, it's a bit painful when you try to, uh, you know, execute the query in the blue prism and understand whether it is really working as expected or not. So you always need to debug the things instead of doing everything inside blue prism. Uh, you know, it's a kind of trick, you know, you can understand whether the query is really working or not. If you uh, make sure the query is working, simply copy and paste entire query into blue prism and you can try let's see so now i wanted to select e dot star verify i mean all the columns from uh, e alias which is a sheet uh, one technically we need sheet two yeah 
because this is employees uh, employee information I want to write an inner join with sheet 1 because I wanted to collect department name so for that uh, I'll give uh, an alias name of D on D dot ID equals to E dot department ID just try to execute okay it is got executed with inner join and it is not giving any errors now try to select D dot department make sure the column name is correct yes seems yep there you go we got uh, department name and uh, we can access location as well there you go now we are good with this let's add another join with sheet 3 name it as pay pay grade so I have given an ls name of p p dot id equals to e dot pay grade id there you go oops we are getting an error so usually whenever we try to uh, you know try to use multiple joins with oledb of course there is an issue with oledb i don't know whether it is really an issue or it is the limitation of the oledb but it is there okay so for that we have a trick of uh, you know uh, making them or maybe joining them with curly braces sorry round brace so first try to put this entire part within one brace and after that wrap the other inner join with another round brace now let's try to execute there you go means it is got successfully executed and always make sure to keep a space here otherwise what will happen we'll see yeah it's working sometimes if you miss the spaces uh, or maybe if the space is not accurate it is going to throw an error right now it didn't throw any error uh, it executed as expected now I wanted to uh, display the pay grade p dot pay grade bingo we got whatever we want like uh, like this you can add multiple uh, inner joints maybe if you have another probably what you can do you can add another one and wrap it with other round brace so in that way you can uh, you know add more than one inner join now how are we going to execute the same inside our blue prism okay let's jump to blue prism i have uh, created an oledb inner join process just for you know as of use of course nothing was there what i will do i will just uh, drag an action stage yeah Okay, now I'm going to use it with OLEDB, OLEDB set connection because I wanted to set this connection with the help of connection string. I do have a connection string, same connection string which I have used for uh, SQL Express. Sorry, yeah, SQL Express, it says SQL Express, right? so verify whether it is correct or not yes seems to be okay and i clicked on okay the set connection is done i will yeah so now the second one open connection there you go and finally close the connection after your work here we need to have get collection so this is our main query go here take your uh, query which we have generated 
copy and paste here usually it will give we need to wrap it inside the uh, single quotes everything seems to be okay let's click on okay okay connect them up and uh, we'll try executing it expect some errors if everything goes well we are good okay yeah connection is got open wait wait yes this is expected because we have already opened that sheet here in the query express so i'll disconnect it because i'm no longer going to use this and uh, so that my um you know spreadsheet can be utilized uh, by our uh, blue prism now actually i forgot one thing to add our um, collection uh, data item let's try it again connection open yep same error you know it is saying missing operator blah 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 okay so if you keenly observe this okay let's copy this and uh, take a look at it see what it is trying to tell sheet 2 is e oops there is a space missing right so that is the possible cause because you know always uh, a blue prism used to um, suppress the uh, what you call suppress the um, I mean uh, spaces when we try to use uh, I, I don't know whether it is only with uh, um, uh, I mean OLEDB query or something else so what I have done is I have just added an additional space extra space after E and click OK OK and uh, execute it again open get again an error uh, the, yeah if you see here after department id again one space missing okay let's close this see it's all always about you uh, know uh, spaces if you forgot to make the things as expected always it's going to make lot of problem uh, here particularly in OLEDB uh, execution uh, not from uh, query express particularly inside the blue prism so always you no know, uh, just be cautious about your uh, uh, spaces Yeah, can be, maybe I am missing some space here. Let's see. It's always better to uh, give some spaces. We have here, we have here, we have here. Validate, okay, okay, okay. Okay, execute, wait, wait, yeah, that is the problem. I might have missed a few of the spaces there. If you see, the same data got populated. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we are good and, uh, you know, that's all for the day. And um, I, will, I will actually, uh, you know, store this particular... Uh, uh, I mean process um, you know I'll export it as an XML and upload it to uh, my github repository uh, you can download it uh, along with this uh, XML file I'll try to put that sample file as well uh, help yourself if you have any queries please uh, post in the comments thank you